excited about the Checkpoint Horizon launch and we are discussing about it during Jitex. This is industry's leading prevention first security operation solution addressing the operations aspect of security operations center. So this is prevention first and this is one of its kind where people have been talking about detection so far. Today we are talking about prevention. So this is something that we launched a few weeks back and this is something that we are discussing with our customers during Jitex 2022. Jitex is always a great platform for us to be engaged with customers and partners. So obviously our objective is twofold. From a customer point of view, we are focusing on Infinity as an architecture. Basically, it talks about network security, cloud security, as well as user and access security. So this is all encompassing on our Infinity as an architecture. So obviously we are highlighting a few technologies which is very unique to Checkpoint and which customers are looking forward to. One is the hyperscale solution, which we call it as the Checkpoint Maestro. And obviously we're going to be talking about the consolidated management and Checkpoint Horizon, which is kind of a prevention first uh, security operations tool that we have. And last but not the least, we are also highlighting the whole endpoint security, which we call it as Harmony, which is very important in today's context with people having work from home scenarios and trying to protect endpoints. So it, we feel it is very important. So these are all the objectives that we are talking about from a technology point of view. Obviously from a channel partner ecosystem perspective, we have a prevention first as well as uh, customers need the best security. So from that perspective, we are going to be talking to all our channel partners in terms of discussing how they can take this messaging to their customers and uh, help them in enhancing their cybersecurity architecture. MDR has been around for five, six years. And as per Gartner, uh, as of today, the MDR is a $1 billion market, which probably will become a $2.5 billion market. And in my opinion, you know, more than uh, uh, that. Now, the conventional MDR lacks few things that is desired by today's market. First of all, the conventional MDR was not designed with a security-first approach. It was always detection, either a manual response or just kind of uh, reporting. Now, you must have heard about the Checkpoint Horizon MDR, which was developed for a prevention-first uh, MDR, one of its first kind. And we have the tools, the automatic technology, the artificial intelligence to make it as a prevention first technology. Secondly, the approach that uh, conventional MDR takes, you know, by uh, consuming all the logs and then analyzing them, makes them quite expensive and at a very high premium, which cannot be afforded by SMBs and to an extent uh, uh, SMEs. Uh, with Checkpoint Horizon, we have taken an innovative approach you know, where we don't consume all the logs, you know, and, you know, uh, pick and choose what is required, and thereby reducing the PM to a very, premium to a very low cost that can be afforded by the SMBs and the SMEs who really require this uh, solution. And finally, I, I see a, a general lacking in most of the uh, conventional MDR is the support for uh, cloud-based solutions. Most of the organization today, of course, at least the SMEs and SMBs are moving towards SaaS platforms. Not many uh, conventional you know, MDRs support SAT platforms. They support the Microsoft ecosystems or the Google ecosystem, but there are many other that are being consumed by the customers and the organization that needs to be supported. SOC is a very important process or component of any enterprise security uh, architecture. As per checkpoint research, there has been 40% increase in the attacks worldwide and 95% increase in ransomware attacks. Now, what does a SOC uh, do? So these are a group of experts or personnel who are continuously monitoring the organization for cybersecurity threats, trying to mitigate them, uh, you know, trying to reduce the risk related to incidents. See, organizations have you know, adopted to uh, hybrid workforce, cloud technologies, bring your own device, due to which the attack surface has just widened. And this is where the, the SOC team or the SOC personnels 
helps in reducing or mitigating the risk to an acceptable level by organization and helping them to achieve the cybersecurity goals and their business objectives. So obviously, Checkpoint has been discussing about this generation five of uh, cybersecurity threats. So obviously, what it means is that traditionally it has been one vector of threat which customers are, uh, are experiencing but today it is a multi-vector threat that we are kind of uh, uh, seeing in the market. So it started with what uh, we call it as the Log4j initially during the start of the year, and there are different trends that we see. Obviously ransomware is something that we see still uh, tops the chart. Obviously, apart from that, we also see country-level extortion, uh, hacktivism, or some of the other trends that we see and the number of threats that we see which targets each organization has increased many folds. Just to give you a kind of a statistics, globally it is about 1,200 attacks which an organization is getting on a weekly basis, but in UAE it's about 970 attacks per week per organization. So this is the kind of scale in which the threats are there and enterprises are looking towards how they can prevent these threats rather than just detect and then do a lot of manual work. So this is where the technology is coming in and as well as the tools and the expertise that we have to help them overcome these kind of threats that they are facing on a day-to-day -day basis. On one hand, uh, the multi-cloud environment or multiple options or diverse cloud options is very good for the customers. They can pick and choose keep some application on one cloud, you know, based on the usage or based on the economics, you know, it, it, it's very good. Now, on the other hand, when an organization, if it adopts to hybrid or a multi-cloud uh, environment, what happens is that their data is spread across. Their confidential information is now in multiple platforms and multiple locations. And they have to now apply controls in multiple places to mitigate the risk or to manage their uh, uh, posture. Now, one of the approach you know, that organizations take is that they go for point solutions or you know, native controls that the cloud provider provide them. Now, the problem with you know, this approach is that these solutions or these controls don't talk to each other. They are like you know, silos, uh, which they are doing their functions, but what happens is that the organization, they lose the central visibility and the central control. Now, for these organizations and many of them who are going to go with a hybrid approach or a multi-cloud appro multi approach, you know, what we advise or uh, what we advocate is that to uh, get in a solution like a checkpoint cloud guard that can integrate with multiple cloud, can give you, you know, multiple controls, but with a unified management in a unified uh, control plane so that you, know, you can see all your risks, manage them on a single pane of glass.